everyone, my name is uh, Mikkel and uh, I thought it would be fun to make a little video showcasing how uh, Amazon Alexa and just, you know, stuff from Amazon, which is not available in um, other countries than UK and USA and, you know, uh, Germany as well, I think, it is to set it up. So I think I'd start off by saying how I got this. I know this guy who is uh, who's living in the UK. And so I answered, asked him and he, he got it to him and then he shipped it forward to me. So already there, there's a, you know, a little bit of, um, of a process. I can't really order it directly to my home. You gotta have it forwarded somehow. And I got it through some family. I think there's companies as well, so you can use that as well if you'd like that. You gotta think about whenever you get it home, you, you know, pluck stuff like that. Uh, I already unboxed the Echo Dot just a little bit. This is the second generation, by the way. Already here we see the problem with uh, this plug here because that's not the standard of EU. I'm living in Denmark, I'm from Denmark, so um, that's where I'm gonna be setting this up. You gotta have like a convert of somehow. And I bought that as well actually. So worldwide to a uh, EU, like that. This one is called uh, SKROSS Gross Adapt to the World. And maybe a little bit about me as well. I'm a guy who is, likes tech a lot. I'm not that, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just starting to get into it, so it's kind of new for me as well. That's why I thought it would be fun as well, you know, just a, a new guy and this this kind of thing. And I'm trying trying to figure it out just as much as the other guys. So yeah, as I said before, I already opened up the Echo Dot. So let's open up this one as well. This is the Fire TV. So I wanted this as well because I don't have an Apple TV. I am pretty much into the Apple ecosystem. Got a MacBook, got an iPad, got the iPhone as well. But I really like the Amazon website as well and I can't wait for them to make a Danish site somehow. So please, if you're watching this Amazon, uh, make sure to you know adapt to the world because we need you as well. And so this one is the, uh, is the Fire TV, the new one with the 4K resolution. It supports Amazon Video, Movie, Plex, Course, and I don't know, all these stuff. <laughs> Probably, see that's another thing as well. Most of these things are not even in Denmark, so you gotta think about that as well. I would use it for mostly streaming. It, you can use it for air AirPlay as well, and that's mostly what I'm gonna be using it for. All right, this is the Amazon Fire TV itself, power input here, and then you got like Fire uh, HDMI, and Ethernet as well, and um, micro SD card, and then a normal USB. Which, uh, which my plan was to like power up my Echo Dot with. I don't know if that's possible, but let's see. There are some manuals, the clock itself, the remote, which I am also hoping this one will hopefully work with the Amazon Echo Dot, but I've read that it's not. And some AA batteries, which is pretty damn cool. So let's try and uh, hook this one up first off. All right, so I just plucked it in and uh, starting to to light up maybe i should mention the the reason for why i would like an amazon echo as well uh, what i do like is a home automation so i mostly bought this for home automation things so say i walked in my room and i said you know play some music and then i like you know the music to play or what should i say um i got some philips hue right here not the hue but more cheaper ones but they work like you and I want to say, you know, change the light to green and then, or play movie light, movie night and then and movie night would go on. And so that's the main reason for why I actually wanted an Amazon Echo Dot. Um, so what's happening right now? I don't really know. And the Echo Dot will tell you what is ready. Light ring will turn orange and then continue. Maybe that thing does not work. Maybe I can't plug into my Amazon Fire Team open. Maybe I need a power outlet itself. Okay, so I, I found... I find it, found this one, and this one as well, because I ran out of flux behind my TV right here. Okay, so, I see some light right now. Let's see if this thing boots up. Yeah, I don't think there was enough output on this one to actually power the Amazon Echo itself. Okay. Hello. Your Amazon Echo Dot is ready for setup. All right, okay. Go to your wife is sitting on the iPhone, select the network on. Yeah. You've connected to Echo Dot. Okay. Max V1.27.0. Now that you're paired, next time just say, connect my speaker. What? Oh, so that, okay. Let's take a quick tour. Okay. 
Alexa, play the program Radio Lab. Getting the latest episode of Radio Lab. Here it is from TuneIn. Hi, I'm Callum Mail from London. I'm what the hell? <laughs> okay, right. I guess I'm. I guess I'm all set up right now. As I said, I'm mostly gonna use this for music and then home automation as well. But that's gonna take just a minute to set up. Uh, I'll try to set it up all up, and then I'm gonna tell you guys what my experience was with it. Okay. Um. Some time has went off now. Actually, two days went off exactly, and. I'm starting to figure out how it all works and uh, trying to, you know, you know, getting things set to work as intended. So I did have a couple of problems. Or I really did. So the first one was uh, uh, just me being a newbie and not really knowing how to use the Amazon Echo. So I guess that's a thing that everyone goes through. But you know, like setting it up correctly, getting the home stuff, home automation stuff to work all that kind of stuff but the biggest one I had problems there was definitely setting up my Spotify account as my default music service so what I found was that I simply did not have any option to choose Spotify from the music default service it was scraped out and even though I got Amazon Prime I ordered it free like the 30-day free trial I could not use it it just kept saying that it cannot it cannot use it or just keep running and nothing would happen so in the end I actually had to you know open up the chat and ask one of the guys on Amazon to what to do here and what he said to me was that I had to change the address to a to a country that was supported so that would be Germany or England or America or something like that it would not be my new final shipment place, like a new shipping address, but it would be the place that the device was um, registered on. So I just took a random address in America, and now it's working out, like I finally got it to work. That was a little bit of a pain because I just have no idea what to do and I looked all up on internet. So if you got that problem as well, well that's how to solve it. One thing I have a little bit of problem with as well is that my Echo and my Amazon Fire TV I'm not quite sure which Amazon account it's linked to. So I I have an account on Amazon.com and I have one on Amazon.co.uk. I order stuff from United Kingdom, from England. So that's where I usually get my stuff from. So I cannot really order anything from America because of tax when I get in here. I'm not taxed from England. So that's a bit of a problem as well when setting up the Echo Dot and the Fire TV. So yeah, let me show you around. I have not configured everything yet. But I guess that's just a learning process and uh, you just get into it. But I got a couple stuff working and uh, you know, the most important things is working out so far. The Echo is uh, paired with the um, with uh, my Bluetooth speakers over there. I have a Log Logitech Harmony over there so I can control that. Alexa, turn off all lights. Alexa, turn on all lights. Okay. So turn, turn on lights. And then I have some uh, options that I fit, configured in Philips Hue. Alexa, turn on cozy time. Okay. Alexa, turn on night time. That's only that one. Alexa, play John Mayer on Spotify. Playing songs by John Mayer from Spotify. Yeah. Uh, Alexa, play alternative R and B on Spotify. Alternative R and B from Spotify. Yeah. Alexa, volume ten. Alexa, volume four. So as you can see, it works pretty good, even though that the uh, you know the speakers is uh, going off. So that's that's a good feature. Alexa, turn on the TV. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically what I've figured so far. So yeah, as you can see, it works pretty good. Turn on TV. Turn on lights. Turn on whatever you like. You know the home automation stuff and the. Set up, you know, with the Spotify and all that. It works as soon as you get it to work, you know. But the process to there, getting there, can be quite a pain when you're outside. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's really quite problems. My, it has not have any problems hearing me. You know, accent-wise, it's not really a problem. It hears me loud and clear. 
So if you're into that kind of stuff, if you like smart TV, if you want to, you know, progress your game, you can get the Amazon Echo Dot, you can get it to work, and the Fire TV as well. The Fire TV is actually pretty easy, because that's like, you know, that's, that's another device, so yeah, it works pretty good. Other than that, I don't think there's any more, and uh, I hope you enjoyed, I hope it was helpful. If it was, please give this a uh, thumbs up or whatever, uh, or just uh, leave a comment down if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. I, I, hopefully I answered most of them in this video. Thank you for watching, bye.